If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you probably already know that the next medication most likely to be approved by the FDA against pattern hair loss is clascoterone. This is a novel topical antiandrogen, and just a few months ago, the FDA approved it against acne. Its brand name for acne is Winlevy, and the brand name against hair loss will most likely be Brazula. Now, in our last update on Brazula in May 2020, we told you how the company behind Brazula, Cassiopeia, were just about to begin phase three trials. This is the very last stage before the drug gets approved by the FDA. Now, at the time, Cassiopeia were in talks with the FDA about obtaining a so-called special protocol assessment. This is a document that says that the FDA agrees with the trial's design, methodology, and statistical analysis. The document by itself does not guarantee that the drug will be approved, but it certainly increases the probability if the results of the study are good. The news that we have for you today is that the FDA gave its feedback on the special protocol assessment in June of 2020. We don't have all the details on this feedback, but we know that it's centered around the so-called patient reported outcome. This is the questionnaire through which patients give their direct feedback on the treatment. So how happy they are with Brazula, how well it worked for them, how it interferes with their daily life and stuff like that. Cassiopeia then had a further meeting with the FDA in November of 2020. In that meeting, they discussed the development of the new patient reported outcome tool. And this is the last news that we have. To the best of our knowledge, the phase three trials have not yet begun. On the company's website, we find the following vague statement. Progress was made in the development of a new patient reported outcome questionnaire for androgenetic alopecia, which has been requested by the FDA to be used in the future phase three trials of clascoterone solution for androgenetic alopecia in males. Again, this is quite vague and suggests that the patient reported outcome hasn't even been finalized yet. And it certainly doesn't give any specific date about when the phase three trial will start. So we wouldn't be surprised if it starts in 2022 or even later than that. And what this means is we're unlikely to see Brazil in pharmacies before 2024 or maybe 2025. I know this is probably not the kind of news you were hoping for, but bear in mind that the situation with COVID is complicating everything, including clinical trials. We will keep you up to date with the latest developments in Brazula as soon as we find out. And of course, if you hear anything, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments.